Greetings. Let's go to Joshua chapter 15. I may pause um, and I may go back because I'm trying to learn and uh, I'm trying to learn as much as you're trying to learn. So let's uh, let's go for it. Let's read first. Um, let's read Joshua chapter 15. So this was the law of the tribe of the children of Judah according to their families. The border of Edom at the wilderness of Zen southward was the extreme southern boundary. So I'm guessing the wilderness in the Middle East could be like Kazakhstan, but I, I'm I'm pretty bad with geography, so um, I'll, I'll have to learn later on. And their southern border began at the shore of the Salt Sea from the bay that faces southward. So I think the Salt Sea was um, the, there's a lot of uh, in, there's a lot of landlocked and uh, inland seas in the Middle East. I'm guessing the Salt Sea is east of the Caspian Sea, but uh, uh, once again, I'm not very good with geography, so uh, I'm gonna I'll learn later the geography of it. So, verse two: When the southern border began at the shore of the Salt Sea from the bay that faces southward, then it went out to the southern side of the ascent of Agra Beam. Passed along to Zin, ascended to the south side of Kadesh Barnea, passed along to Hezron, went up to Adar, and went around to Karaka. From there, it passed toward Asmon and went out to the brook of Egypt. And the border ended at the sea. This shall be your southern border. The east border was the Salt Sea as far as the Mount of the Jordan. And the border on the north, on the northern quarter, began at the bay of the sea, at the mouth of the Jordan. <clears throat> I'm guessing the Jordan might be uh, where, um, where the Gulf is now. Um, you know, where the, you know, where Iraq and Iran is, and then there's Yemen. There's that sea that kind of goes like this. Let's keep going. The border went up to Beth Hoagla and passed north of Beth Araba. And the border went up to the stone of Bohan, the son of Reuben. Then the border went up to or toward the beer from the valley of Akor, and it turned northward toward Gilgal, which is before the ascent of Adumim, which is on the south side of the valley. The border continued toward the waters of En Shemesh and ended at and Rogel, and the border went up by the valley of the son of Hinnom to the southern slope of the Jebusite city, which is Jerusalem. The border went up to the top of the mountain that lies before the valley of the, the before the valley of Hinnom westward, which is at the end of the valley of Rephaim northward. Then the border went around from the top of the hill to the fountain of the water of Nephtoa and extended to the cities of Mount Ephron and the border went around to Bela which is Kirjath Jerim then the border turned toward westward from Bela to Mount Seir passed along to the side of Mount Jerim on the north which is Chesalon went down to Beth Shemesh and passed on to Timnah. And the border went out to the side of Ekron northward. Then the border went around to Shekron, passed along to Mount Bela and extended to Jemnel. And the border ended at the sea. The west border was the coastline of the Great Sea. So there's a lot of mountains and hills. The Great Sea could be the Caspian Sea. But once again, I'm bad with geography, and a lot of these names are unfamiliar to the New World times. But this could be the Caspian Sea, a lot of mountains and hills and valleys. This is the boundary of the children of Judah all around according to their families. Verse 13. Now to Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, he gave a share among the children of Judah according to the commandment of the Lord to Joshua, namely... Kerjath Arba, which is Hebron. Arba was the father of Anak. Caleb drove out the three sons of Anak from there. 
Sheshai, Ahiman, and Tomei, the children of Anna. Then he went up from there to the inhabitants of Debir. Formerly the name of Debir was Kirjath Shefer. And Caleb said, He who attacks Kirjath Shefer and takes it to him, I will give Ashaf my daughter as wife. So this guy was, uh, these people were, were, uh, were invading and, um, uh, I guess this guy needed help, so he gave he uh, gave his daughter to whoever um, attacks uh, Asha and takes it. Um, he will give his daughter as a wife. Verse 17, so Othniel, the son of Kenaz, the brother of Caleb, took it, and he gave him Ashash, Asha, his daughter, as wife. So yeah, um, so Othniel took it and he got up and uh, Caleb gave Asha his daughter as a wife. Verse 18, now it was so when she came to him that she persuaded him to ask her father for a field. So she dismounted from her donkey, and Caleb said to her, What do you wish? She answered, Give me a blessing, since you have given me land in the south. Give me also springs of water. So he gave her the upper springs and the lower springs. This was the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Judah, according to the families. So she probably needed well water for drinking or washing clothes or whatever. Verse 20, this was the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Judah according to their families. The cities at the limits of the tribe of the children of Judah toward the border of Edom in the south were Kabziel, Eder, Jagur, Kina, Demona, Adaloda, Kadesh, Hazor, Ethnan, Zeph, Telam, Bealoth, Hazor, Hadath, Kiriath, Hezron, which is Hazor, Ammon, Shema, Molada, Hazar Gada, Heshmon, Beth Pele, Hazar Shual, Beersheba, Biz Jotha, Bela, Ejim, Ezem, El Tolad, Chesel, Horma, Ziklag, Madmana, Sansana, Labalth, Shalem, Ain, and Rimon, all the cities are 29 and they're with their villages. In the lowland, Eshtel, Zora, Ashna, Zanoa, and Ganim, with their villages. Verse 33 In the lowland, Eshtel, Zora, Ashna, Zanoa, and Ganim, Tapua, Inam, Jarmuth, Adulam, Soka, Azika, Sharim, Adithim, Jerdera, and Jedera Dain. Fourteen cities with her villages Zenan, Hadasha, Migdal, Gad, Dilian, Mizpah, Jagdil, Lashish, Baskath, Eglon, Kaban, Lashma, uh, Lamas, Kethlish, Jedroth, Beth, Dagon, Nama, and Magedda, sixteen cities with their villages, Libna, Ether, Ashna, Ashan, Jephta, Ashna, Nezeb, Kilia, uh, Kila, Ashzim and Maresha, nine cities with their villages. Ekron with its towns and villages, from Ekron to the sea, all that lay near Ashdod with their villages. Ashdod with its towns and villages, Gaza with its towns and villages, as far as the brook of Egypt, and the great sea with its coastline, and in the mountain country, Shamir 
Jatir Soko Socho Dana Kurjaf Sana, which is the beer, Anab Eshtemo Anam Goshen Olan and Gilo. Eleven cities with their villages Arab Duma Eshian Janum Beth Tapua Afeka Hamta Trajath Arba, which is Hebron, and Zior, nine cities, and Zior, nine cities with their villages. Verse 55 Maon, Carmel, Jeff, I mean, Zeph, Jutah, Jezreel, Jagdim, Zanoa, Cain, Gil, Gebia, and Timna, ten cities with uh, with their villages, Halhul, Beth Zur, Gidor, Marath, Beth, Anath, and Elk Tekan, six cities with their villages, Kerjath Baal, which is Kerjath Jerim, and Rabbah, two cities with their villages, and the wilderness, Beth, Araba, Midan, Sekaka, Nebshan, the city of Saul, and En Jedi, six cities with their villages. As for the Jebusites, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the city, um, the children of Judah, cannot drive them out, but the Jebusites dwell with the children of Judah at Jerusalem to this day. I don't know who the, Jer the, I don't know who the Jebusites are, but I'll find out later. So, if they call if they call the sea the Great Sea, why don't um wouldn't uh wouldn't the Dead Sea be mentioned if it was the Dead Sea? So I'm guessing the Great Sea might be the Caspian Sea. That's my guess so far. But uh once again I'm back with geography. I'll learn it a little bit later. Thank you for chiming in and have a great day. This was Joshua chapter fifteen.